Shirley now, arriving on her way to her very first Coast to Coast broadcast. A small but enthusiastic group of fans have been waiting patiently to see their favorite talk show host, and now they're showing their appreciation. Let's try to get her over here. Dr. Shirley, Dr. Shirley. You shouldn't have told him to leave. Yeah. Who are you? You shouldn't have told Sean to leave me. You destroy someone's life and you don't even remember them? Sure, Sean was the sober alcoholic and you wouldn't quit drinking, I, I remember now. All you know is his side. We got drunk together for years and I took care of him. I took care of everything. Then he sobers up and all of a sudden he wants to be in charge. Did he tell you that? He was so different, it scared me. I was afraid I was going to lose him, so I got drunk a few times. Yeah, like now. But I was trying to get help when he left with the kids. Did he tell you that? Well, lady, you got a problem. Call her on the show. Let's go. Just wait a minute. He told me you didn't have kids. <laughs> you think everybody that calls you is telling you nothing but the truth? Well, I thought, well, sure. Why, why would they lie? They're not talking to a friend on the phone. They're on the radio. Of course they're not going to tell you the whole truth. And then you tell them what to do, and you don't even know what's going on with them. Are you going to go, or do we have to move you? I'm sober now, and I am trying to get my family back together. I just thought you should know it's all. Great. Well, thanks. Jack. Can you believe that? These whiny little people thinking they can blame you for their pathetic lives? What a loser. <laughs> hey, lady. Miss. Hey, come on, guys. Oh. Oh, come on. We'll take it back. Excuse us. WNDY is proud to present Chicago's foremost radio psychologist, Dr. Shirley. This is Dr. Shirley, and I want to welcome all of our new listeners. I really feel privileged to have all of you listening in, and I hope you'll call, because without you, without you, I'm sorry. I can't do this. I just can't. I've been lying to you. I'm not a doctor. In fact, my last job was teaching dancing in a place called Flat River. I've been lying to all you people. I'm not qualified to give you advice. Maybe nobody is. After talking to you two or three minutes on the radio? I'm giving you advice based on the version of the truth that you want millions of listeners to hear. Sean. If you're out there, Lord knows I hope you're listening. And if you left your wife because I told you to, well, you left for the wrong reasons. Never let anybody tell you whether to stay or go, whether to take this job or that job, whether to put up with your mother or tell her off. You know why? Because it's your life. It's got to be your decision. Maybe what's right for somebody else may not be right for you. Sean. Anne loves you. Together, the two of you work it out together. You decide what to do. Lord, I've never come up with a solution in my own life that wouldn't worsen the problem I had in the first place. So, who in the hell am I to be telling you anything, anyhow? I can't do it anymore. I'm done lying to you. I thank you for listening. This is Shirley signing off.
I'm returning the car. It goes with the job. Wherever you're going, you'll need a car. Nobody needs a $60,000 car. And anyway, I'm not really a Mercedes. I'm just a plain old Pontiac. Maybe a Chevy. Hi, Debbie. Hi. I was thinking that maybe we could do something to show if Shirley we care about her. Uh-huh. What would that be, Debbie? Well, you know how she was always talking about honking your own horn? Yeah. Maybe we could all honk our horns at, like, midnight. Great. Great. Honk your horns for Shirley at midnight. Let me get this straight. There's no flight anywhere near Flat River, Arkansas tonight at all. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Hey, I thought you got fired. Close. I quit. Just making a phone call. Don't worry, it was a toll-free number. This time, you'll kill me. What are you doing here? Wishing. Wishing for what? Wishing I knew what to wish for now. You were right. I'm just a dance teacher with some cheap advice and easy answers. No, I wasn't. Not according to your listeners. They've been calling since you walked off talking about how much they love you, how you've helped them, how the days and nights are a little easier thanks to Shirley's laughter and Shirley's wisdom. It's you they need, Shirley. It doesn't matter if you're a dance teacher or a trapeze artist. It doesn't matter. It's you. But what about Sean? I could erect his marriage. Sean called right after you walked off the air. He said he was going to leave her anyway. He just wanted somebody to agree with him. If it hadn't been you, it would have been someone else. 